is Sam Katz with Gallery Glass, and I'm here with Nissa at the Living Gallery. So Nissa, how did you start the Living Gallery? Um, I started it in the loom. Uh, I started it because I was looking for a spot, just a studio actually, and the loom offered me a really great deal. And so I decided to start a gallery. What makes the Living Gallery different than most of the other Bushwick-based galleries? Um, from what I'm aware of, um, our kind of business model is a little different, just even to look at that. Um, we don't try to sell the artwork, you know, that's not like our main objective. Our main objective is to create an environment that's really welcoming and warm for the community and show emerging artists and not put so much pressure on selling the artwork. The way we do that is we have a bunch of different events, like we have art classes and we have yoga classes and we rent out the gallery. And so by changing our business model, we're able to show art that isn't necessarily sellable or doesn't need to be sellable. And we don't need to worry about, you know, what the artist's background is or, or things like that. You know, we can just focus on celebrating the artist. Have you found that that's sustainable, at least for keeping the, the space open and continuing to produce those those events and those experiences? Yeah, right now, definitely. I mean, renting the gallery is the main way we, we're alive right now. And, and having our art classes is the main way we're alive. We've still sold art, but when it happens, it's really organic and it's not forced. And I don't feel like we have to cater to people who have more money, who actually can afford art. It just really just happens in like a natural way. I think you're in a very unique place in time for which it it will thrive because of that, especially the artists that you work with and, and the events that you host. You know, you're in Bushwick, Brooklyn, where there is a real um, exciting nature yeah. to the neighborhood. Yeah, it's really alive. And um, also, I think, though, you know, you're seeing more and more businesses doing multifaceted things. You know, for example, the iPhone is not a phone. It's also, it's not just a phone. It's also a camera. It's also a computer, pretty much. It's also, you know, like a chat, a way to chat. It's a way to do so many different things, you know what I mean? So every, like as a business, it's important from my perspective to be able to offer more than one thing. And that's the way you'll have a, have a longer life as a business because you won't put all your cards on one specific area. Would you say... Um... Would you say that you play a curatorial role in the artists that you choose to work with? Yeah, I mean, it depends. Um, that's a, a question a lot of people have asked me. And I mean, there are definitely some artists that I love and I get really excited to work with. And there's some artists that I'm not necessarily sure if I like their art. But for me, that's not what it's really about. It's about celebrating the artists and giving artists a platform who need a platform. And I actually judge who I work with more on the energy I receive from the person and how excited they are and how passionate they are and nice they are. And that's what really, that's more of what I curate, you know. You're still very interested in the work that you do yeah. exhibit. Can you tell me about the murals that we have back here? Oh, yeah, we have tons of murals back here. Um, it all, again, happened really organically. This is my friend Cheryl Georgette. She's amazing. Um, and she never had done anything really like this. so. It gave her an opportunity, she's usually a photographer, to really just explore and create these creatures. And then um, that is this guy named Brett, who's amazing. He does a lot of animated films. He hosts animated movie nights here with us. Um, he's awesome. He's a really happy, positive person. And then the face is Taylor Bowen. He's a good friend. And then this is James Concanon, this huge guy who's here right now. But um, And you said you just gained access to the to the rooftop murals yeah, yeah all the way up there you can see it. it's a 50 foot wall and the owner's next door because it was just covered in mural thank you nissa frank thanks now give us a kiss all right Mwah. <laughs>